Hello everyone and welcome to Iridium's new training series on our latest maritime communications and safety technology. My name is Kyle Hurst and I'm the Director for Maritime Safety and Security at Iridium. I'm here today at Swanwick Marina, you can hear the birds in the background near Southampton and we're going to do a short demonstration video on the LT3100S. So what we're going to demonstrate is the marine services that are available in the terminal if you need assistance. So to find out uh, what marine services are available, you press the menu button. So in the GMDSS menu, you go down to safety contacts. The first page is all the rescue coordination centers that you have uh, available for this terminal. So here you can see our test rescue coordination centers and some real rescue coordination centers as well. Um, so on the second page, you actually find the marine services. So you can see marine services tab here. And here are four of the marine services. So first one is uh, medical advice. You would call medical advice if you have a medical emergency on board. However, it's not likely to require medevac. So it may be someone's hurt their hand and you just want uh, advice from uh, a doctor to make sure that person's gonna be okay. You would press the button or you can dial 32, the short code there, and you would initially go through to the rescue coordination center. They would check that you're okay and don't need medevac. And once they're satisfied, they will pass you through to a doctor and he can then provide care for the person who's been injured. The next one is uh, medical assistance. This is what you would use if you do believe that someone may require medevac. Um, again, you will initially go through to the rescue coordination center. They would start organizing the details and get all the information they need to initiate the medevac. And then they would pass you on to the medical facility so they can do intermediate care for the patient until the medevac arrives. So those first two, very important. Um, the third one is maritime assistance. That's just a call through the rescue coordination center. So you may see something that you're concerned about that may um, require uh, the rescue coordination center to get involved. You see something on the horizon that might look like a flare, something like that, a red flare. You think, are they in distress? So you call up um, maritime assistance and possibly report that to the rescue coordination center and they can take action as they see fit. And the last one is report maritime dangers, code 42. You can either hit enter here or you could actually type the code 42 and press green button. You'll go through um, to that service. So for that reporting maritime dangers here in the UK, we're in NAV Area 1. So the NAV Area Coordinator is the UK Hydrographic Office. So if I call that number, I will go through to the UK Hydrographic Office. Um, I can report to them the danger, such as container in a certain channel, which re represents a danger to shipping. They would obviously record that information and then send out a notice to mariners and maybe even a broadcast back out to all terminals, all, uh, all devices, to make sure that everyone knows about the danger so nobody has any problems with it. Uh, so that's the maritime services, and uh, we'll go back to the normal page. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest information on Iridium GMDSS. And please visit iridium.com for more information. And finally, thank you for watching.